Last year, I purchased a Razer Kyo Pro webcam and a brand new laptop PC, and I connected it, and I'm using OBS Studio to re, uh, record my videos. And the, the video, as I was using the webcam, was hesitating, it was freezing up, and it just looked kind of jerky from time to time. So I played around with it for uh, a little bit and I figured out what the issue was and I made a video about it. Unfortunately, the video was about 28 minutes long and I rambled on about uh, how, uh, some OBS studio settings and loudness levels and things like that. So over the last several months and including up to yesterday, I, I had uh, people leaving comments couldn't I make a shorter video just explaining how to set the camera up so it doesn't um, uh, uh, hesitate and leave all the other stuff out? So, so that's what I'm going to, going to do. So the first thing, the first problem that I had was since my laptop only had a, or only has a couple USB ports, I connected a, a USB hub and I plugged the, the webcam into the USB hub and I plugged my microphone into it. And then there's a little um, uh, uh, con uh, connector, a little a device that plugs in for my wireless mouse. And I, I don't know if I had anything else hooked up to it or not, but what was happening, I was putting too much of a load on one USB port and the, it wasn't able to supply enough power to the webcam. So it's not an issue with the webcam, not at all. It was me and the way I was configuring everything. So that was solved. And then I, uh, I, I learned about another setting to make. So uh, I'm going to show in the, with OBS studio show. So I'm going to show you that now. So I'm going to go over to the desktop. So this applies to any webcam doesn't matter it's not just a razor i've got a uh a logitech c920 also so find your icon for obs studio if that's what you're using to record videos uh, find that on your desktop right mouse click on it and then select properties and then when this window opens come over to compatibility and more than likely where it says uh, disable full screen optimization that will be unchecked if you're a gamer you may and you're live streaming you may want to leave it unchecked otherwise go ahead and check it and then when you do you'll be able to click the apply button and then the okay button if you have a razor webcam connected when you when you hooked it up it should have installed uh, a uh, icon in your in your system tray so go ahead and click uh, click this little arrow over here and then you want to select razor central so i'm running the webcam now without this boost but you want to select this boost now button and when you do it's going to set some memory aside and it's going to optimize things there's one more setting to change, and that's um, in OBS Studio. So uh, go ahead and launch that. Then come over here and select Settings. And I'm going to turn myself off so I'm not in the way. When this panel opens, come down to Advanced. The process priority will be set to Normal. So what you want to do is change it from Normal, set it to High. And then when you're done, just come down here and select apply and then select OK. So that's it. That, that's basically all you'll need to do. Now, I have created a few videos. So the, the long video, I'll put the link in the description. But I also created a video a few days ago. Uh, actually, there was four videos. One was just a basic setup for OBS Studio. The other video was for adding desktop audio, another video for adding a microphone, and then this last video I did a few days ago 
was about adding a webcam to OBS Studio. So I'll I'll leave the links for for both of those um, videos in the description. So I hope this helped. Again, nothing wrong with the Razer webcam. I, I this isn't the ultra one. This is the one before that, and and it's an excellent webcam. So uh, hope this helped, and thanks for watching.